Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about the best upcoming investments for CSGO. So these are based on a Twitter poll. I went ahead and asked you guys if you'd like to see the best upcoming investments or the best current investments and you guys decided on the best upcoming investments. So for that reason I am making this video today. If you guys want to participate in the production of videos and vote on different video ideas, make sure you go join the Discord server and follow me on Twitter for polls like this in the future. Now, without further ado, guys, let's get into these investments. So one of the main topics that I want to focus on for this video is going to be the Shattered Web Operations. So I already made a Shattered Web Operation investment video, and a lot of those are going to stay the same going forward, but a lot of those changed in price, and so I do have a little bit of an updated guide to investing in Shattered Web Collection. I also want to talk about the Shattered Web stickers now because I feel like They've come to a point where I'm a little bit more comfortable speaking on them as they were kind of a new concept when they first came out. And then I'm also going to quickly touch on agents because I think those are pretty important and a lot of people were asking my opinion on those. So we're going to talk about that as well. Okay, guys, so when it comes to Shattered Web Investments, in terms of the collections, we're going to be talking about the three big boys. So basically, the three big boys are going to be the most streamlined investment information I can possibly give you. Streamlined better than Bernie Sanders' Epic Gaming PC. The other very nice thing about the big three is that there are three of them clearly, which means that there's going to be a very diverse portfolio for your investments just by nature. So basically the big three is going to consist of the AK-47 Baroque Purple, the Og Midnight Lily, and the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr. So this is going to be not too much of a costly investment, but the really nice thing about it is that you can infinitely expand it. So let's say for example you have $1,000 to spend on investments for the Shattered Web Operation, you can go ahead and buy more Emerald German Gunders, or more Midnight Lilies, or more Baroque Purples, depending on how much you want to spend on each of them, and you can kind of diversify your investment portfolio in that sense. It's also going to be investment friendly for those you know cheaper investors. You guys can buy the Baroque Purples if you just want those, or you can spend a little bit more for the Aug Midnight Lilies, or a lot more for the Emerald German Gunders. So one question you might have is why exactly is this the big three? Why are these the three investments that I am recommending so much for this Shattered Web operation? Well, there's a few reasons, but one of the first ones, obviously, is the Baroque Purple is going to be a very good looking AK skin. Very good looking AK skins tend to do well in the long term, especially ones that are going to have a bottleneck supply. If you don't know what a bottleneck supply is, I do explain it in other videos, so go watch those. And those bottleneck supply are going to obviously increase the price exponentially. Furthermore, the AK Baroque Purple is from the Canals Collection, and it is a low grade skin, so that gives you a nice bit of coverage in that tier of skins in that collection. And that's one of the main benefits of this big three. They're all from different collections, and and they're all pretty much from different tiers. The AUG is a purple just like the Desert Eagle, but they are still from different collections and they hold, you know, both kind of high tier spots. The Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr obviously being a higher tier purple and the AUG Midnight Lily sort of just being a medium tier purple. So this is obviously going to be the big three. As the name suggests, it has very good coverage across all three collections and tiers and it also has a good price spread where you can just invest a little bit or a lot depending on how much you want to put in to the Shattered Web investment. In terms of wares for each skin, for the Emerald German Gunder and the Og Midnight Lily, you're going to want to spend a little bit more for the better wear ones. Those ones do look much better, and they do look pretty beat up when they're even just in field tested condition. So you can just obviously buy field tested if that's how much money you want to put into it, but I would recommend spending a little bit extra for those minimal wear or factory new versions of the Emerald German Gunder or the Midnight Lily. But when it comes to the Baroque Purple, you can go ahead and just buy a ton of field tested ones of those. I think the field tested ones are going to be the best possible possible investment when it comes to the Baroque Purple because they look very good in field tested condition and it's not very expensive so you're going to have a good chance at getting a really nice return on investment once the operation ends. Now there's probably two more little extra questions that I probably have to answer for these. The first one being are there other investments? Yes there are definitely other investments. Pretty much anything from these operation collections are going to be good investments. They all are going to rise after the operation ends but in terms of what's going to make you the most amount of money in the long term or even just the short term because the operation ending can really cause a large amount of hype into these skins, then you can really look towards the Emerald Drum and Gunter, Midnight Lily, and Broke Purple as being the best short and long term investments for your money. The other question is probably when should I invest in these skins to make the most amount of money? Well, what you should do is what a lot of people have been doing previously throughout this operation is essentially just wait until the battle pass gets to a drop 
for that collection, for example, the Norse collection. And then when that drop actually happens, the prices on the Steam market are going to be the lowest because that's when everybody's going to get those skins dropped in game and they're going to start quick selling them. So that's when you should wait to invest in this. I'm going to tell you that right about now when we're in the ninth or 10th week is going to be the best time to buy them. It's a little bit after the midway point and that's probably when prices are going to be lowest. Obviously, at the beginning of the operation, these skins had much lower prices, but they kind of skyrocketed midway through. So if you want to jump on this train, you're going to want to buy right about now. So I believe that clears everything up when it comes towards Shattered Web investing. And also, those are going to be the best current investment because they are low prices now and because they are rare operation skins, they're going to gain a ton of value after the operation ends. So let's move on to operation stickers. So when these stickers initially came out, I wasn't going to talk about them just because they were very interesting. They were unique. There's a weird issue where the battle pass is a very new thing to CSGO. We've never seen anything like it before. And when you have a big skin marketplace that is centered around this kind of thing, it's kind of hard to tell if the battle pass skins are going to do as well as their predecessors or if they're going to do even better. However, after thinking about it for a while and doing a lot of research into them, I have determined that there's pretty much only one operation sticker that you should be looking towards, and that's going to be the gold web foil. And as a secondary sort of one that you can risk a little bit on, you're going to be looking at the Webstuck Hollow. There's not really much to say here, but I'm going to briefly explain my reasoning. So for the Webstuck Hollow, there are two. First of all, the Webstuck Hollow just generally looks good when it's unscratched. It's a good looking hollow effect and it just has a fairly good design overall. The secondary reason why the Webstuck Hollow is going to be a good trend is because of the scratch wear. So the scratch wear looks extremely good on this uh, sticker. When you actually scratch it all the way, you actually get just the web on it, which is going to look very good, especially because it retains the hollow effect Effect, and you can make some really really cool crafts with this. I've already done two which you'll see up on screen. The reason I even consider the Webstuck Hollow an option is because of the scratch reasoning. If a person accidentally scratches it too much or doesn't scratch it enough and they mess up what it looks like on a skin, they might want to buy more which can definitely decrease the amount of them in existence very quickly when people are making crafts with the sticker. That's why this can be a little bit of a riskier one because it is in higher quantity but it is one that people are going to be using quite a lot. As for the gold web sticker, that's a totally different story. The gold web sticker not only looks amazing, but it also has the lowest quantity out of all of them because it is the highest tier you can get from the sticker drops. There's not a lot of people that are getting these gold web stickers and a lot of people aren't going to get them at all, even after the end of the battle pass. So they are actually a more rare sticker. I can see these definitely going very, very well in the future market. A lot of people are going to be buying these and applying them. And after the supply is bottlenecked, we can see huge prices and huge price increases. And really, that's all there is to say about these two stickers. It's a very brief and pretty straightforward argument for them. Now, before we move on to the final topic of this video, I wanted to briefly touch on agents as well because I have been getting a lot of questions about them. What I would tell you with agents is to not invest in them. The reason I want to tell you guys not to invest in these things is because they are so unpredictable. When it comes to something like the gold web sticker, that one is a little bit more predictable even though it does come from a battle pass because it is a sticker. We've seen stickers, we know how they function, we know how they work, and agents are a bit different. First of all, you can't actually see any of your agent skin when you're in first person. You can only see it when you're in third person, so that adds a very weird, unique factor that we've not seen on any other CSGO skin or any other CSGO item in the game ever before. And that's why they're so unique and weird to invest in. Furthermore, they don't hold value very well. Even the very high tier ones where you're only getting one single extraordinary covert agent drop with the Ava, for example, or the Romanov, those hold low values, which is pretty surprising to be completely honest with you, but they're just not a super desirable thing. It's not something that people are actively seeking out, and that's why I would call it a bad investment in general. I think they're just going to lose value over time. If they do gain any value at all, it's not going to be significant enough to actually consider it a good investment. And of course, one other glaring factor is if CS go adds more agents to the game that can definitely decrease the price of them in the first place if the agents they release later are better. So that's my opinion on agents and stickers. If you disagree with me, feel free to tell me in the comments below and we can have a nice little discussion on it. And if you want to go ahead and invest in something I didn't talk about or you want to invest in agents anyway, feel free to do that as well. I could always be wrong. You can't predict the market in all 100% accuracy. This is just simply based on my own personal research and my own personal investment experience. And now onto the final topic, which is investments 
events outside of the operation. So there's two quick topics I want to talk about this before we close out the video. The first one's going to be the a potential Perfect World case. So if you don't know what Perfect World is, it is the Chinese publisher of CSGO because CSGO got released in China, so clearly it needs a Chinese publisher. They call themselves Perfect World and they are Perfect World CSGO. This Perfect World CSGO team actually released four new skins to the Steam Workshop, which obviously if it's a verified publisher, they're not going to release skins just for people to look at, they're going to have real purposes. So a lot of people are speculating that there is going to be a Perfect World case. These skins do look very interesting. I'm not going to go into detail on them on this video, but you can go and look in the link below in the description for the Reddit link. If you go check that out, you can read more about these Perfect World skins and who's uploading them to the workshop. Sadly, at the time of making this video, we don't have enough information information about them to make a very strong investment advice aspect for these skins, but I will tell you that the AUG is a very interesting one, and that's definitely one that you're going to want to look at. If this video releases on time, that AUG and the rest of the skins should come out about a week or so from now, so make sure you're expecting that when that does happen. And the final topic that I wanted to talk about in this video is going to be investments outside of the operation, basically skins that have been uptrending very well in H tier that I see could really be good investments in the future. So the first one for the low tier is going to be the SG Ultraviolet. This is one of the oldest skins in the game from the Arms Deal collection, and it is obviously decreasing in quantity every single day. It's a mil spec, meaning you can't trade up to it, which is another factor that can limit its quantity. It essentially has to be unboxed, and with how unprofitable the Weapon Case 1 is, I really doubt that the SG Ultraviolet is going to get a lot of unboxes in the future. It's also on the SG, and it's a good looking skin, so I can see it doing very very well in the future, especially for people that like playing the SG. As for mid-tier skins, there's also a few from the Weapons Case 1, especially the AK-47 Case Hardened. Not a lot of these are getting traded up to or in box. The trade-up is very unprofitable right now, which means that the AK Case Hardened can be a very strong investment going forward. And then finally, for the high-tier AF2, the Op Lightning Strike, which I've been recommending before, I think that one is really going to have a good time once the operation ends and people are less focused on operation skins and more focused on some of those older skins that they've been wanting for a long time. The Op Lightning Strike is perfect for those people and will really see a nice increase in price. And I really think that the Op Lightning Strike would have had a nice increase in price provided that there was no operation at the time that there actually was. When I made that video for the Op Lightning Strike, it could have done very, very well if there was no Operation Release. And the final skin that I want to talk about, another high tier skin in this game, is going to be the Fire Serpent. Now I did just recently get a Fire Serpent, full disclosure, but the reason I got one is because it's a strong investment, not because I wanted to increase it with a sort of manipulation from this video. I think the Fire Serpent is going to do very, very well. Again, one of the oldest skins in the game, not a lot of people are unboxing Bravo cases, another same factor as the SG Ultraviolet, and of course the Fire Serpent looks pretty dang good. It's a very good high tier AK with a very unique design on it and a lot of people are getting very interested in it. It's uptrending very well, getting a lot of value over time, and it's going to do very well in the future. And with that being said, guys, I don't want to take up too much of your time, so let's end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I already told you about the Discord server and the Twitter at the beginning of this video, so I want to ask again. And then as for liking this video, make sure you do that to show some support for me creating this video for you guys. Maybe you can make some money off this video and come back and give it a like later. Who knows? So anyway, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you all next time. Peace out.